Welcome back to CC's Garage. Uh, been a little bit since I posted. Everything I've been trying to film just hasn't worked out. Rain. Uh, on the F350, I'm working on doing a rolling bed liner by Double Color. But I can't get the truck in the garage. It catches on my garage door frame. So with the rain, put held me up. Uh, so today, I'm gonna roll in my 93 here. Now this is a, uh, this is not a GT. It just has a GT ground effects. It's got a late model five low conversion off of 94, 95 spindles. It's got the 2002 dual piston brakes up front. Out back, it's also being converted to disc brakes. Under the hood, I'll get it open here. We have a little 302. I'm also running Elder Brock. Uh, kind of hard to tell there. And an little Brock Pro Flow 4 on this one also. Damn, I didn't think I had that that tight. Uh, put the computer inside the car on this one also. The biggest reason I haven't been driving this is I've got a leak somewhere in the AC system, which is the secondary reason. The main reason is the clutch is letting out right on the floor. Uh, this car's also got a Tremec, uh, early Tremec in it, five speed. And it's been converted to 134. I got the 3G automotive conversion done on it. Uh, at one time I had manual rack, took it off, put power rack back on. And I'm gonna have to get better light in here. Have the hydro boost system. This is the second one I did. The first one was the convertible. Then I did the one on this and there's a buddy of mine's 95 was the third Mustang I done the conversion on then my truck is the fourth uh, car's got 355 gears in it so let me uh, catch off here and get a little better light under the hood and I'll show you a little bit more and get this uh, breather off okay I got the hood off uh, not the hood off the breather off got my little Milwaukee light hung up here she can see throttle body. Uh, this is basically the same setup I've got on the 71 F350. Now, kind of hard to see down in there, but if I can get a better look at it this way. I went a little different route on the secondary coolant sensor. I put the factory one here in the intake and then I come in with the tube for my return for my heater hose and put the coolant sensor for the uh, pro flow in there run the wire in the same way up underneath it's got a set of BBK shorties uh, this has a, a set of pipes stainless steel mufflers on it and a set of resonators uh, quieten it down a little bit. Uh, pretty pretty good size cam. But like I said, uh, clutch is letting out right on the floor. It also has Motorsport 5300B springs, which has a stance. It's got a QA1 K member in it. Uh, Anthony Jones Engineering uh, lower A arms with spring purchase. And then a set of uh, county sport shocks. And on the back, it's got the spherical bushings in the axle housing. I've also got a heim joint on the upper control arm, so the, the upper control arms are fully free floating. And 
it's got a set of hot uh, Mac lower control arms with the polyurethane bushings. The reason it's got the hind joints and the spherical bearings in the top is because I kept uh, having the bushings beat out of it. And then, of course, SVA caster camber plates. Uh, well, let me uh, get off here, get it jacked up, and we'll get into that, and I'll show you a little bit more and see if we can figure out why the clutch isn't working. Okay, got it up on ramps in the front, jack stands in the back. <laughs> And I've still got the jack sitting under the axle. Never can be too safe. And here you can see the AJA control arms. I did have to put a spacer in between the upper mount and the uh, K member uh, when I put the these lower control arms in it dropped the car further than I wanted it to and I've got an oil leak somewhere or another hmm. okay oh I also forgot I got a bump steer kit on the car and from what I understand, you want this rod and this to be pretty much in the same plane. Which if you look, I'm close. It probably could be a little better. I also have offset rack bushings in. Looks like some of my leak may be from a power steering pump too. Okay, have to grab a socket to pull that off. So this thing should not be this oily. Like I said, pipe stainless steel mufflers. Heim joint and spherical bearing. And then just uh, polyurethane bushings in the lower. Aluminum uh, for performance drive shaft. Just set up here and I'll grab my Grab me a ratchet and a so some sockets. I was at it, I went ahead and grabbed me some grease ray or some towels.
just a 10 millimeter uh, bolt that holds the cover on. That's not good. I need to tighten up the lower the bolts in the uh, bell housing. Okay. I'm gonna grab me a uh, a flashlight. And probably a mirror to where I can get a better look up in there. I'll bring you back after I get. Okay, I got the uh, clutch adjusted. Got the transmission bolts back in and torqued, all four of them. Uh, here's some of the items I used. Adjusting the cable. I used a pair of vice grips and a 7 16 ratchet and wrench. I wanted to look up in the uh, bell housing, make sure there wasn't a bunch of oil, debris in there or anything. So I used a mirror and a flashlight. Of course I used a flashlight for, more, for different things because you need more light under the vehicle. Uh, get the inspection cover off, I used Quarter inch socket set, this is Craftsman. Uh, used to belong to my dad. And a 10 millimeter socket. I also used it to reinstall it. Of course on the bolts, I used blue Loctite. Blue Loctite is the one that's designed to come back apart. I used two different sets here. This is a high inch drive. 3 8 Allen for the uh, the bolts holding the transmission to the bell housing. And then I use this Craftsman 3 8 3 8 drive, the other one's a high inch drive. The, uh, and the reason that I use two different ones is I use this high inch uh, uh, extension to get up in there with the 3 8 swivel on the top or the half inch swivel universal joint, whatever you want to call it, on the top. Well, it's got some heft to it. If you look at the 3 8 swivel beside the half inch, you can tell a different size. I also used half 3 8 adapter and I used half inch extensions. You put them side by side, you can get an idea of the difference. Then I used two different half inch Ratchets. This is just a Craftsman and then this Matco here with the swivel head. And the reason I used the Matco was to apply more torque. You can see the difference in the handle width. And on one of the bolts, I used this extension to get me far enough past the side of the transmission to torque it in. Uh, now I've got a few other things I've got to do to the car, or one big thing. I've got to work on the air conditioning. I have a leak in the system. Uh, I vacuumed it down, haven't been able to find it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vacuum it down and I'm gonna shoot a little Freon in it. And I've got a sniffer. Uh, so let me get everything set up to do that with.